Hi guys, Drew Farrell here down here at Burley Park Golf Club in Stamford, Lincolnshire. And I'm here today to talk to you about my three main bugbears as a golf coach. These are things that I hear day in, day out when I have lessons. And even if I'm out playing with the members on the golf course, they even tell, say these things to me when I'm hitting bad shots. So these are things that I think are old myths and they don't feel they quite relate to how you hit the golf ball and if you want to improve I almost feel they're hindering your swing in many ways so first one for me is the old one of keeping your head down keeping your head still this does my head in literally I hear it every single day when people are hitting bad shots and in actual fact when I see people trying to keep their head down this is massively stopping them hitting the ball better it has a massive influence on the contact they make as a massive influence on how much speed they can create and how they can deliver the club face consistently as well. So when we address the ball and we go to the top of our backswing, our body naturally wants to rotate through. And again, this is how we're going to create as much speed as, you, as possible. And we're actually going to have more control over the club face by doing this. But what most people try to do is go to the top of their backswing and they're keeping their head down for so long really trying to keep their eyes down on the ball they often get this chicken wing going here because they can't turn their body out of the way of it the club has to go somewhere and the only way it's going to keep on going through is if we can get this arm to go up so the best drill i can do for anybody is to just get a short iron of some description and let's just forget that old myth of keeping the head down for a minute we're just going to do a few little half swings and if we almost want you to try and look where the ball's going to go before you've hit it. You will still make contact with the ball doing this. But it's just going to get you that feeling of your body then being able to open up more. Our neck's out and then our arms actually travel with our body. So this is going to really help you with your contact, club path, angle of attack. Every parameter in the golf swing, this will help you. So let's do one of those. Just a little half swing. So we're going to go back through and really try and get your head up out of it. Now for me, this is something I work on every time I practice because I'm guilty of my head staying down for longer and not being able to turn my body out. So this for me has really had a positive impact on my golf swing. Second one I want to talk about is people telling you that you've hit the ball too hard. I've never had a golf lesson with anybody who hits the ball too hard. That is a, a massive myth in the golf swing speed is such a positive thing to have it's a real attribute for most people the reason most people can't get their handicaps down is because they can't reach the greens in the amount of shots required for them to lower their handicaps and create the scores that they want to so by hitting the ball softer this isn't going to help so for me the best thing you can do is really to work on when you're on the range is keep your speed up speed is such a good thing to have i've never told anybody to hit the ball softer so work really on your contact on the range so this is a this is a big one for me if you can get two clubs laid out on the floor pop your ball in the middle of them and hit a few shots again keeping your speed up and just try and work on delivering that club in between these two clubs that are on the ground so this is definitely going to help you keep your strike centered and maintain the speed as well because speed is so important and everybody needs it in order to improve their golf and my third and final point is talking about alignment and the way the body is aligned to the target. So you find with the slicers or even the overdrawers of the ball, their playing partners will tell them you need to aim more left than that one because that ball's gone right. So just aim more left and the ball will finish on target. Sounds pretty simple. However, all we're doing is actually exaggerating the club path now. So the more we change our body alignment, the more your club path is also going to follow where your body aims. So if you generally find that you're an out to in swinger of the club at the moment, so the club works sort of from this direction and in, if we actually aim more to the left, it's going to have a negative effect on us again. It's actually going to make your club path even more out to in. So the bigger the difference between our club path and our club face alignment, the bigger the gap, the more curvature you're going to create on the ball. So if we're still delivering our club face in the same place we were before and then we aim more left all of a sudden we're going to our 
spin axis is going to be tilted more so we're going to create more side spin and the ball is going to finish further offline so best piece of advice i can give you is almost feel like you're going to do the polar opposite so i'd feel for you like if you slices rather than aiming left almost feel like your body's going to aim more to the right essentially in relation to the target our club path is going to be somewhere there or there around neutral position the more we aim you to the right so this is a quick fix for you guys out on the course but please try and keep your body alignment as close to target as you can get it or even the other way so if you're an overdrawer maybe feel like your body is going to aim more to the left because again this is going to get your club path in a more neutral position so next time you're playing out with your friends and they tell you to keep your head down or hit the ball softer or change your alignment more it's going to hinder you please ignore it it's the best piece of advice i can give you and again really focus on some of those points i've spoke about today and you will see some improvements in your golf so please subscribe to the channel there's a button down there if you click that that'd be great you'll get notifications every time i post a video then my social media platforms are also down there so if you don't mind giving me a follow that would be great and there'll be videos posted two or three times a week as well so please pop back and have a look at those thank you for watching the video we'll see you soon